Okay, let's see. It's also recording. Oh, this is not bad. Oh, that's no. fine. Okay, okay. Hi, hello. Hello. Um, we are going to try some Japanese snacks that I had gotten at a market earlier. So Sam Sam <laughs> is going to try some with me because her palette is usually very like, I wouldn't say plain, but she's more... Bland. She's... <laughs> I wouldn't say that. I'm in a nicer way. She just doesn't really try stuff different. So I got a, like a few different things for us to try. And one thing that I already tried, if you watch my Instagram, hey, you know kind of how I feel about it. So we are actually going to take a little shot and then we're going to get started. <laughs> Sam, do you want to say like a fun fact about yourself? I, this whiskey... <laughs> I've had a bad time with whiskey before. Her fun fact is that she doesn't really drink whiskey anymore. We used to drink whiskey all the time. We used to live we together. We were whiskey drinkers. Yes, I we still would am. drink guys underneath the table. Yes, and she doesn't anymore because no. she's sophisticated. I drink wine now. Yes. I'm a domesticated like a cat. Like a cat, right? <laughs> Ding! Like a cat. Okay. <laughs> Hello, world. So, don't make that face. So the first thing that we're going to try is actually something colder because I don't want us to try something that's like dry storage and then whatever is supposed to be cold is actually going to be disgusting by the time. So the first thing, Sam, have you tried sake before a lot? Um, I tried sake once when we went to that Japanese restaurant. For my birthday? And you made me eat beef fat. <laughs> that was Korean, but fun, fun times if you didn't watch that video. It was really fun. So this is, I could be pronouncing it wrong, so everything, so please I'm be mindful. It's Rai or Ray. I'm not exactly sure, but it's the same brand that makes Ozeki Saki, so it's pretty tame. But this is newer on the market, and it's actually a purple bottle. If you can see, it's actually really cool. I don't really think that we can get the color like in there. Hocus Pocus. Yeah, a little hokusy pokusy for the <laughs> October season. So, Sam, um, this is June Mai, which there are many different types of sake. Um, June Mai is just one. I know that there's four or five. I don't know them 100%. Okay. Um, but sake there, is an alcohol, right? But there's like, yes. Yeah, so it's and fermented. how many percent is it? Oh, that's fun. So it all just depends on the polishing ratio. So there's... So it's like a wine. Yes. Yeah, so some information... Holy sh It's 15.8%. So this is June Mai Rye or Ray, and it's Mountain Pioneer. And it is a slight... Here, you hold it so I can just read it. So there's a slight citrus astringent aroma that is enhanced by the acidity that defines the sake along with the fullness that is grounded in sweetness and... Yoon Mami. Clean and refreshing with naturally bodied flavors, complemented by a dry finish. And it is more on the dry side, but it is maybe closer to a fuller bodied. There is a thing on the back that kind of helps you with it. But so you're going to try it first, actually. So, since and sake, you don't really like drink a lot of right away. So, we're going to just put it in a whiskey. little bit. Well, we drank just... the whiskey. Can I just, oh, I just like burped up whiskey. <laughs> that was not fun. She, she That's did. like just threw me back to just bad reminiscence. We had a really fun time though, back in the day. So I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Okay. And it might be different just because we had whiskey in this and that is some good old it American strong. whiskey. I'm really surprised this is like 15.8%. Yeah, and this was at the Asian market that I went to. It was, I believe it was like $21. So really not bad, depending on if you like it or not. So let's do a little cheersies. And don't shoot it, just like taste it. What do you oh, think? It's not bad. It tastes like a dry white wine. Like Chardonnay. Like a Chardonnay? But like with way more alcohol in it. Yeah, like... Sake is something that you can drink that doesn't have a lot of additives or sulfites. It's made of rice, right? Yes. So it's like rice, and then it's yeast, and then something else. Some some sake is really, really plain, so it just doesn't really have a lot added. What did we have last time we went to the... We got... What did we get? Soju. Soju. So we got soju last time. That's and that is what I was getting confused. Is soju, soju and sake. And, yeah, because I was expecting it to yeah. be like a fruity. Yeah, soju is totally Very different, good. and that is more on the Korean aspect, but this is more Japanese. So what do you think? 
It's okay. It's okay. It's not something I would sip on. You wouldn't sip this because you're I normally would sip supposed a white to like claw. You could sip it, or you, <laughs> you could sip it. I mean, you could do it like a sake bomb, but with the chilled, you don't really like bomb it. Okay, so sake bombs like in beer, right? Though. Yeah. Are you talking about like sushi zen? Yeah, like they're like, oh, let's do sake bomb. Like, yeah, sake, sake literally bomb? means alcohol in Japan. Okay. Or Japanese. So it means alcohol. And it's good. Yeah. You like it? Kind of. Kind of. I, I wouldn't are you gonna, it over a white Are you going to finish it though? No. She hasn't you finished it. it. Wait, you want, you're not going to? You oh, have maybe to. I'll sip, sip in between sip, sip. this. That is the whole point of this video is to get Sam more um, and I because a lot of the stuff I haven't tried either. So something that's also really popular, which we have never tried before, is a matcha latte. Now matcha is a type of green tea and the milk that they use, I don't believe is actual milk, but we will see. Is it vegan? Mm, maybe. I haven't done real milk in a while. Yeah, let's see. Sugar okay, skim milk. Okay, it's skim milk powder. And so I don't think that's really going to mess up our stomach. We don't really do a lot of dairy. If you've seen my no. videos, I just don't do a lot of dairy. But this little thing comes with a straw and it comes with these little kind of like makeshift instructions. So shake well, do not freeze. So Sam, you shake it. I'm going to get out the straw and we're going to try this. Um, this was at the Asian market for, I think it was like maybe $2. So which is why I wanted to try it. I've been seeing these on a lot of YouTube videos actually. Yeah. yeah. I've been... I love watching people eat. Kyle thinks, my husband <laughs> thinks it's the weirdest thing, but I love watching people eat because we don't sit down and eat to like dinner together. Oh. And um, it's just nice to sit down and eat dinner with someone. It is. Which we are doing that. I don't know. Technically, I just, I don't know. I'm weird. Like I'd rather eat dinner with someone than without someone. True, 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 true. So this looks like you just pull the straw apart and then you can either put the lid on the bottom and stab it through or put the lid on top and stab it through and stab it through. <laughs> through through? Um, so do you want to do through through? Oh, look, yeah, there's a little mark. Through -through. Okay, there's a little. Oh, oh. that was easy. Fucking flex, bro. <laughs> it's my biceps and my triceps really been working them out. So if you guys want to like comment on them, just a little, mm, little flex. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, did you shake it? Yeah, I sh Gosh. Yeah, I shook it. You I'm sorry, I was talking. Shake it. She just okay, you try it first. So this is more for you than it is for me. So no, you've never tried. Wait, it you have to pull it closer to the mm, like really get. There you go. You can hear you sip sip. Wait, really? It's skim milk. A little milk, so. ASMR. That's actually really good. <laughs> really? I'm not gonna lie. I would drink that over sake. <gasps> Wow. It's like green tea and milk. This is so like good. Like milky green tea. Like I mm -hmm. would drink that on a daily basis. That's I would really sip this. good. Well, what would you listen to? What kind of banger would you listen to while drinking this in the car? I would probably, honestly, like I'd listen to some kind of podcast. Like a podcast and be like... Or a book. It's fucking sophisticated. Sophisticated. Ooh, this is so good. Okay, you're going to drink it all, bro. We have it's some. It's really good. Mmm. So I will drink your sake the rest of the video and you drink this, okay? Okay. So we're going to dive into, so do you want to do sweet or salty first? Should we do this? Okay, so oh. actually we're going to do this first. Bean so cake. if you guys watched my video earlier, so this is a mochi and the inside is a red bean paste and that is really common in Japanese sweets. And so I tried it earlier, and so Sam Sam is gonna try it. What I it, haven't seen her so reaction to this. I could be slaughtering this again. So it's like daifuku, which literally means like luck in Japan or Japanese. I keep saying that. <laughs> so what were your th first thoughts on seeing this again? It literally, uh, like, it looks like a ding dong. Like, put put it closer. So like like. It looks yeah. kind of like a ding dong, okay. like a Twinkie. So ding -dong. we're gonna pull it out, and I want you to like. But it like, looks like a jelly ding dong. Yeah, like, like jelly. So I want you to like. So I want you to touch the texture. So it just kind of like ugh. gives me the heebie jeebies. Like, oh. Okay, so this is like so that you can touch the bottom. So like, touch it. <sighs> Whoa! It's like soft. Like what? It's like so describe it weird. More. Like, like it's like if you touch Jello oh. that had powdered sugar on the top of it. That's a good description. 
Okay, so you have to get My closer. My sense of smell is pretty. So get like a little bit closer and then try it. So the inside, so the outside is a mochi, which is like a ground up like rice and then something there's like there's a few other things i read it earlier but <laughs> look at that here actually hold on i'm gonna grab my phone and i'm gonna read it before you taste it so you're, don't wait don't don't, don't. you're so just, gonna grab your phone yeah just talk for a second her phone's recording right now let's see when she realizes that her phone's recording it smells Sam, how do I get in this? Oh, you're gonna grab my phone. Yes, I did. <laughs> Where's your phone at? <laughs> we're using it. I thought we were using yours. What is it again? Don't just whisper. <laughs> okay. No, that's not it. Oh, that is it. Okay. So I'm just gonna look it up really quick. So what do you think it's going to taste like? Do you think it's going to be really sweet? or what I think, think it's, it's going to be, be pretty bland. Okay. It smells like oatmeal. Oatmeal? Okay. Like it smells like... What's that cereal with the almonds in it? Honey Bunches of Oats. Honey Bunches of Oats? That's okay. what it smells like. It's so it is a... Okay. So it is a small round cake. And it's soft mochi, which is the outside layer, which is stuffed with sweetened bean paste. And let's see. It comes in white, pink, pale green, can be eaten as is, or toasted lightly so the mochi becomes soft and sticky. Okay. Let's see. And you are supposed to plop the entire mochi into your mouth <laughs> or cut them into pieces. But I think we're just going to nibble this, it. Yeah, just... Pop, plop this in my mouth. So I think that you should actually, let's like move the plastic and I want you to take like a bite of it and then see what you think. Oh. <laughs> it's actually not bad. The texture is just super weird. What's the texture like? And I'm a texture girl. Yeah. It's like jello, but like a hardened jello. Okay. Like. And you're getting powder crumbs all over the desk, so. That's good. I don't know. I like it, but I don't like it. No, I already ate it ar earlier. Let's take another bite. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wait, you didn't like it? No. And you made me eat it? <laughs> you were like, oh, I just want to see your reaction. I actually kind of like it. It looks like there's cocaine all over the table. Hey. So that is one cold thing that I wanted you I to know. try. Like, I like it, but I don't like it. But I like it, but I don't like it. Okay, to me, honestly, it seems like it kind of like, because that's beans, so it kind of reminds me of like a burrito. <gasps> that's Taste why. Taste it again. Taste it again and think of like a, a colder, sweet burrito. I'm just going to eat the inside. Yeah, no. Right? Black beans. Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Black beans. Yeah. It's literally like. It's a little sweet on the outside. It's like, like a sweet black bean. Like it's powdery. It's very like soft. It's like velvety. It's like, I don't know the yeah. way to describe it. But that is a... It's like if you dipped jello in powdered sugar. So it is a mocha rice cake that is um, a sweetened bean, red bean paste. That's why Japanese people are so skinny because they eat black beans for fun. And it's sweet. <laughs> Jax is just waiting for a little Sam treat. has a black German Shepherd and it is literally hiding underneath the desk. And he's a big dog, so... Okay, he Sam. Than I do. Okay, so are we going to do sweet or salty next? Let's do salty, because okay. we just had sweet. Okay, so we are going to do salty. So I got two different flavors of these. I thought these looked fun. And these are... So hold this one. So this one is by the brand Colby, if I'm saying it right. And it is a shrimp chip. And this flavor is actually wasabi. And what is that one? Juzu and black pepper. I think I said that right. Maybe. We're not sure until somebody corrects us. So there's shrimp chips. There are shrimp. So I guess that is very popular in Japan to have like fried shrimp crisps or 
chips. So, oh, that's fun. Yeah, a lot of these are, wow. Oh, that was really cool when you did Put some, but I want my cylinder. Okay, so, so you try yours first. Wow. <laughs> some ASMR. Hold the bag out. There you go. I'm. I'm a little weirded out. Like I definitely taste shrimp. I definitely taste shrimp. Like like that's what's weird me out is the shrimp taste to it mm -hmm, because mm -hmm, you can taste like mm -hmm. the it tastes like a veggie chip, but with yes, but with like an after like you can't taste the shrimp right away, but it's like an aftertaste of shrimp. Yeah, it definitely does. Okay, so that was the yuzu, or whichever you say it, and black pepper. So if we do pronounce something wrong, um, don't get mad at us. Western culture has a way of pronouncing every single word. It's because we're Michiganders. And we're also Michiganders. <laughs> and we say everything weird compared to everyone else. Like? Like black. And like when I moved to Florida, everyone's like, "You say black weird," and I'm like, "Why?" Black. And they're like, "Because you enunciate black." Black. And I'm like, "That's just the way black. I say it." Like that you shirt is black. Black. Blocky. This, this, <laughs> this is wasabi flavored. Whoa. I'm not a wasabi kind of gal. Wow. I'll That's honestly one. like if I put a little dab of wasabi on like, my tongue. Yeah. If you were to take wasabi out of a sushi roll and put a little bit on a chip, if you like wasabi, wow, mm -hmm. go for that. I'm not a big wasabi girl, but I kind of like, like it. this. I like this one better than that one. So this brand, if you haven't tried it, Colby. If we're saying it right, um, they're good. I found them a bunch at the Asian market, and they had all okay. different types of flavors. So how do you feel? I like the wasabi better than the other one, and I don't like wasabi. Okay. That's good, though. super weird. That's good, though. Like, I don't like wasabi at all. Can I help you? Did you drink it all? No, I didn't. Mm. Okay, so now we're going to do sweet. This is so good. So, if you watched my Instagram earlier, you know that I saw these, and I thought this box was super freaking cute, and they are biscuits. So, on the back, there are different types, and we're actually going to... Yeah, we're going to try. Know. Yeah, so I thought that we could try all of them. And Sam actually thought this was really cute because it's like a little duck at the bottom and it's just fishing. It looks like a little chickadee. Yeah, she's like, is that a chickadee? I go, a duck, but that's okay. Oh. So, Jax is like, <gasps> oh, and it comes in a little tin. Oh my tin. god, it's a tin. tin. That's like the best part about it. We love a good tin I'm moment. Sorry, but like, you get a tin that goes with something, you can always use a tin over again. Oh my god, I can always. Oh, and there's you like can put all your these own little cookies in it. There's like a little story. It's so cute. I actually, okay. really like that. I know, and it wasn't like too expensive at the store. So, same help. Sam, help. Okay. I have nails on. Here, hold on. I have tweezers. We have tweezers. Oh, and this all the way, like, is only, like, 23 grams of sugar. So it's really not that bad. Hmm. I'm a, I'm a sugar person. I don't like to drink a lot of sugar with my drinks. Like, yeah. if I can go sugar-free, I will go sugar-free, but that's actually really good. Okay. How do you think we should pronounce this? So say it again. Try to say it. So, I'll give you the box and I'll just show it. How do you think you should say it? Lakuma. <laughs> Ralakuma. 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 It fun. means fun. in the honey forest. <laughs> fun fact. Wait, is it? <laughs> no. That says Rilakuma met Koyumachan in, in the, the honey, honey forest. Okay. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Listen, Linda. Listen. Except for I can't read what any of these oh. cookies are. <gasps> Ooh. 
That's fine. But that's cute. I love cookies. I think they got a little shook up from my Jeep Jeep Licensed on the drive by over. Sam. Mm. Okay, so I fixed them. So they look like this. Wherever that one just fell, not sure, but we are gonna try. <laughs> we are gonna try all of them because these are way too stinking cute not to try all of them. So wow, there's a lot in there. So Sam, wait, no, pick one out. I want the middle one, and I want this one. Cheers. Mmm. <gasps> these are so good. Yeah. People say Japanese chocolate. In general, is so good, and um, I get it. Oh, you got the chocolate one too. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm Going for this one, just diving right in. Wow, this is so good. Wow. So there's this one. Hey, Japanese chocolate. <laughs> it's like really soft. Unless that's just the chocolate that they use, but mm -hmm. can't tell what chocolate they use. Could be milk what is it, chocolate. What does it say? It says. What does it say on the English? Oh. Oh, it is milk powder and cocoa powder. And caramel. I would really good. try one of these. Okay. I'll try one of these. Wow. I'm so mm. excited. I did not know it was a 10. That's good. Yeah? That chocolate one is so good. Wow. I would definitely leave you some. Okay, Sam. Dive into what... Explain this one. Okay, so this is sugar, strawberry, pineapple. So I'm assuming it's some kind of like sugary candy that doesn't have like a sweet or sour taste Show the it. back of it. <laughs> but obviously that's all in Japanese. This is in English. It just says that there is sugar flavor, strawberry, pineapple, orange, melon, um, and then a couple different um, colored dyes in it. Mm -hmm. About six grams of sugar, six carbs per... 0.2 ounces. Okay. So I'm assuming they're just going to be like sugar candies. Yes. They look like that. I'm actually going to pour a little rye, if you don't mind. It just smells like a sugar candy. So what would you maybe compare them with and like like Western candy? I guess you can do that after you taste them. I don't really them. know because I don't really eat sugary candy. I like sour. Bitch, you lie. Bitch, you lie. I like sour, but I don't like just plain, like, sugar in my mouth. Like, I would rather eat, like, sour, like, Sour Patch Kids or, like, gummy worms, but... Which is straight sugar in your mouth. Or Pop Rocks. Oh, wait. I also want one. What? Oh. Do we, do we try a different... Like do we try ones. a couple one? Like, a couple of them? You're getting all oh. white ones. Wow, I am. Like, <laughs> I like... It's like, oh, what's that? Ooh. So I'm gonna eat a white one and, a, and an orange one and wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I'm gonna try them all at once. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, you're chewing them right away. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Rock candy. Isn't that what it's like? I oh, like a rock candy stick? Like a sucker? Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of Pop Rocks. I'm not thinking of Pop Rocks. Maybe not four at once. Like, maybe it's something like you take one of, and you nibble on it at a time. Yeah. I feel oh, wait, like we one. should nibble and then get close to the camera. Ready? <laughs> nom, 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 nom. I can't. Wow, that is had, really like, sweet. A ASMR mic. That is really Those sweet. Those would be good ones. I feel like one at a time is way better than like four at a time. It's literally sugar. Sugar compressed. Like into sugar cubes. Cute little. Like they're cute. They look like little pieces of coral or something. Like they're cute. But they're definitely really sweet. Show the people. Yeah. 
And these are called <laughs> Kampei 2. And it is very delicious. Kampei Taidu. Let's enjoy nostalgic time, is what it says at the bottom there, which is cute. So maybe this is something that, like, maybe you just put in your mouth and, like, suck on for a minute and then you chew. Maybe it's not something you chew right away to get more, like, flavor out of them. But for us, right now, like, that's just really it's sweet. It's a lot of sugar. That's very sweet. That's, yeah. But I, don't, I, I thought these looked fun at the store, so I definitely wanted to try them. Okay. So we have just one more thing to try. The mouth tastes like sugar. Welcome. And these I'm very excited for. This actually has um, basically no English on. So this basically, I don't know how you pronounce a J um, in Japanese, but it is basically. Hajocha. <laughs> Sorry. Hajocha. Hajocha. Here. Hajocha oh, latte. Here, you you open the bag. So that's you what it, it says. It's Hajocha latte. So. Hmm. There's a lot of sugar in these too. Really? It looks like, from the picture, it looks like it's gonna be a sucker. Okay. Like without a stick. You know, like a dum dum without a stick. And it's supposed to be latte flavored. Okay. Are you braiding our hair together? Yes. Yes. The same. Oh, it's falling apart. It's okay. So they they come in these little packages. Oh, that's fun. It says candy. That's all I can read in English. Yeah, that's all it says is A Joja latte. Here, put, put it closer. So, cheers. Yep. Yep. Oh, cheers. Cheers. And this was the last thing we wanted to try because we wanted to do something like sweet at the end, but not too much. So this looks like, Ooh. to me, it looks like it's a warhead. White. Yeah. Yeah, it's it literally looks white. like a warhead. Yeah. So it looks like I'm expecting it's sour. Got, like, yeah. darkness underneath. <laughs> So I'm expecting Stop. definitely sour, but okay. See, look at that. Just one lick of the tootsie pop. I'm getting like a very matcha. Like, a, don't you get a latte taste? Yeah. Like it's very matcha y. <laughs> I don't like them. I don't like it. I don't like it. I really hope. Ugh. No, no. It I like, like sweet. Like I like no. I don't mm -hmm. like sweet things. I like sour things. I, like I'm a sour yeah. kind of gal. This was definitely like matcha flavored, kind of with a kind of like a um. What are those um those little candies that um Western culture has and they're caramels. American they're not, people. But they're not caramel. It's like. A little, it looks like a little piece of caramel, but it's hard candy. What are those called? Grandma used to eat them all the time. Oh. Just with a W? Werther's? Werther's, the little. Original. Werther's, yeah, the hard, <laughs> no, they don't taste anything like They were like, like butterscotch, that. weren't they, or caramel? Yeah, they are yeah, they were good. <laughs> this is kind of what it tasted like to me. It was one of those, but maybe stale with a matcha flavor. So not It super... has like a tea flavor. So if you like tea. Yeah. If you like Hajoja tea, I would say go for it. <laughs> but personal preference, none of them. Personal preference, I would not eat these. So hopefully I can get rid of these because there is quite a bit in I here. I think the thing that I like the most, which was odd, is this <laughs> weird little bean. It's not weird, fam. It's a it's bean. Different. It is mochi with a red bean paste on the inside. Oh, maybe I don't like it. Well, it's warm now. I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I keep eating it, and I think I'm going to feel a certain way, but... Like, maybe it's the color of it that's just, like, making, like, drawing me to it. And, like... Yeah, like, bring it, bring I it like, closer again. Like, I like the texture of it. Like, the weird... Because I've never ate anything like this, but I don't like it, but I like it. Hmm. It's weird. So the sweet, like, I feel like the sweeter stuff is, like, the mochi outside. Yeah, I like the than, outside, than the, the paste. bean inside. And next next time, I will grab a, like, mochi ice cream, which is, like, this jelly outside, and then there's ice cream mm. in the inside. 
and they have that, all different. That I feel like would be so good if there was yeah. ice cream inside of there. Okay. So out of everything we tried, so the shrimp chips, wasabi, and the black pepper, the latte, the little sugar crystals, the junmai, sake, and the mochi red bean paste, and the latte, what was your favorite? The latte. 110%. I like the latte. And then second mm -hmm. running was the wasabi chips. And what then this? You? And then this? Okay, then so that. if I had to rank them, I really, really like this. I really like the sake a lot. I would actually rate this number one, in my opinion, but I actually really like sake. Sam doesn't really like I'm sake. I'm not a big sake girl. Too much. I, like, I think that was the first or second time I've ever tried sake. I think that's the second because you've definitely tried it before. So I enjoy sake. You don't get a hangover from it. I could drink a whole bottle and, you know, you the get... next the next day you I would feel vocal. not super headachey, not that I drank a whole bottle of Coppercraft. You know what I'm saying? We have that. <laughs> like I, a whole bottle of whiskey. Two days to recover from a whole bottle of Coppercraft. So, and I didn't even drink it all myself. So, sake is definitely one of those alcohols where you can drink quite a bit of and you don't get a super hard hangover. So, that would be my numero uno. My dose would definitely be this latte. I think it's super it's fun. So good. And it comes with this, which I wish that you could, you know, maybe it was like, you know, it could be like paper or something, but you know, this is not something that you get all the time. So I think that that's okay. And this matcha latte actually is good. Every matcha I've ever had has been more. I've never had matcha before. Well, it's just, it's a, it's like a powdered strong green tea and it's usually, it's kind of bitter depending on the brand that you get. So I've never had it actually sweet. So no. I think that was interesting. How much so sugar actually, is in there? Go ahead and look. I think I said it earlier, but. 23 grams of sugar. Uh, 18 grams of added sugars too. Oh, okay. So quite a bit actually. I didn't read that That's part. That's why it tastes so, so good. Yes. Lots of chance. Yes. So that actually I find to be also delicious. I would say the next things that I really liked were the shrimp chips. And next time there are Which some... ones did you like? The wasabi or the other ones? The wasabi. Mm -hmm. The wasabi ones. Was that you too? Yeah. Weirdly. Really? I don't like wasabi. Let's have another. Let's have another. I'm not a big wasabi girl either. They taste like, uh, like vegetable straws. Yeah, with like a lip, like if you were to dip vegetable straws in like a tiny bit of wasabi, just that little flavor. It's really not like spicy. It's good. It's like a little kick. Yeah. So we like It's these. a little kick. Like I like the, I like wasabi, but not like all over my sushi. Here. Like if I do a little dab will do me. Okay. I'll go like this, this way and you follow me and then I'll go follow you. Ready? Okay. <laughs> Perfect. So these are definitely my number three. Number four with the yuzu or uh, waizu. I took your necklace. I'm so sorry. Oh, I forgot about the cookies. Oh, the cookies. Okay, cookies would be nice. Cookies, cookies would be two. The matcha latte and then the cookies. The and tin then the wasabi cookie, the chips. cute tin cookies. How do we forget about those? Number two. So they're for all me, sake, it's because they're far off the desk. That's why we're not looking right at them. So these are definitely number two. Look at how freaking stinking cute this tin is. And like, I would just want to buy it for the tin. How much were those? $11. That's not, that's not bad. But I saw, like, I saw all the cookies, like, how many there were, and I was like, $11, like, that's, that's not bad. That's a lot of cookies in there. And they look, like, high quality-ish, like, they didn't look like they were in super cheap. Obviously not, like, because classic. they wouldn't come with a tin. Like, they didn't look super, like, kind of put together. You yeah. know, like, off-brand cookies at uh -huh. Kroger or Meyer, like, they just don't look... You yeah. wouldn't like them as much as if you like the good it's like stuff. Like an off so. Oreo. It's not, the, it's not the same. Yes. Yeah. So definitely, okay, for me, sake, then the cookies, then the latte, then the chips, and then these little sugar balls. Again, these, uh, we're not exactly sure how to <gasps> eat them. Oh. oh, I thought that was, I thought that was the sign. <laughs> we're not exactly sure. We ate like four at a time. We don't know if it's something you just nibble on. You like suck on for a few minutes and then you chew like it's supposed to be lightly sweet. We're not exactly I sure. I feel like, so, I don't know, it's just for, like a Skittle. Like you could suck on a Skittle or you could eat a Skittle right away and you're still good. True. So, but this was too much, I think. Yeah, that was a lot of sugar. sugar. Like it, I don't know. I like a little flavor. They all kind of tasted the same. same. Like kind of like rock candy. So if you took a little chunk out of a rock candy, 
sucker and shoot on it maybe yeah maybe that's what it would maybe yeah. that's what it tastes like this is definitely at the end sam oh that was at the end for sure this that is at the end not... this i cannot wait to go to work and say hi do you want some of these because that is definitely at the end and the mochi rice cake this um, I'm not sure if it's the brand that I didn't like. Maybe there's another brand that makes it better. Not sure, but this is definitely... I think it's the black beans inside. It really just reminds because me... Because once I found out there were black beans inside of it, that's when I kind your... of, like, changed my opinion on it. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Oops, sorry. Oh, sorry, Jax. Jax! What are you doing? What are you Oopsie? doing? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the black beans... Like yeah. The taste. Like I liked the texture of the gooeyness on top, but then the black beans inside. Okay, take really another threw bite for good no, measure. I mean, I already had like five bites of it. But like another bite for good measure before Maybe the video have, like, ends. Just a little bit of the. See if Jacks will eat it. This is just the pink stuff. Jax, want some? <laughs> He's like, well, the texture's really freaking me out. I'm giving you a zero out of ten for texture, mom. Eat it. <laughs> you don't want any? Here you go. Okay. 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 That's her cue that he can eat it, and it doesn't really look like he's <laughs> he's like, mom, you're trying me right now. Oh, he doesn't know. Yeah, it's like a taco in a jelly show. Yeah. Definitely. So, um, thank you so much for watching this video. Again, um, we're not trying to make fun of any cultures. We're just trying different snacks and we liked most of them. So that's good. Yeah. So thank you for watching so much and have a good rest of your night.